Assalamu alaikum. This is Brother Kamran from Green Lane Masjid, and I'm joined today by Dr. Justin Varney, who is the Director of Public Health of Birmingham. Now, we've invited Dr. Varney along to disseminate some key information for us regarding the coronavirus. Now, these are very serious decisions for the mosques. You know, we're talking about the banning of mass gatherings, you know, potentially anything over 100 eternally and externally up to 500. That means postponing or, or cancelling our Jummah prayers, which, you know, the, must be in a hub for the community. These are really, you know, important activities for us. People look forward to them. They're a major part of our worship. Um, you know, but these are serious decisions that we need to make. Now, what's the risks of, you know, us congregating in areas like this? So as the infection has spread across the community uh, and we're seeing increasingly the numbers going up uh, in terms of those reported, the risk of gathering, whether for faith or for recreation, is that you bring people together that wouldn't normally be together. Uh, having attended one of the other mosques in the city last week at Friday prayer, um, everyone was shaking hands and embracing. Um, that, of course, is a huge risk for, for transferring the virus. And it only takes one person to come into that gathering that it can spread uh, quite easily to many other people. Um, it's important to highlight this is different from schools. Um, in schools, we know who sits next to who, which class they're in, where the children have gone. It's much easier to control that situation. Uh, whereas when people come to gather together in faith, um, they change who they pray next to. There's a movement around of people. Uh, and that very much increases the risk. Uh, and ultimately, the question that we uh, are asking you to consider is that if we do not act now, then what are the consequences? And, and sadly, they may be quite serious. Yeah. And that's the question that a lot of people are asking is, well, if the schools haven't closed down, why should the mosques close down? But I think we also need to understand that the government, you know, hasn't necessarily put the measures in place to handle the clo schools closing down. Where will all the children of the emergency staff go? You know, the doctors, the nurses, etc. So we haven't got all the measures in place in order to handle the closure of schools just yet. So absolutely correct. And, and if the schools close today, the impact on our health and social care services would be, would be significant. Um, what we also know is that this disease fortunately doesn't tend to kill children. Uh, although it may make them unwell, very few children are extremely unwell. Uh, it is much more worrying for the elderly and those who have health conditions. Uh, and those are many of the people that come to faith settings like the mosques uh, to share faith and, and prayer. Um, and as I said before, schools we can control. The schools in the city are working incredibly hard to protect children at the moment. In many ways, it's probably the safest place for them to be. Um, we know that when the schools do close, many of those children will go home to be looked after by their grandparents. Uh, and that creates a further risk as well. Um, I have no doubt that in coming days the schools will close, whether because of staff absence or because of government intervention. Um, however, at this time, we are keeping them open for as long as possible to give our NHS the best chance to prepare for the days to come. Yeah. And I think it's the seriousness of the situation that really we need to convey to our community right now. Because, you know, as much as the mushers told the elderly not to come, not to, for people not to shake hands, etc for us to be washing our hands more regularly using the sanitizers it's not happening happening as much or as quickly as we'd hoped and that means that there's much more a higher risk of the virus spreading when people do come together yes and, and you know um, and much as it was a great pleasure to speak at friday prayers last week uh, about this um when i was waiting in the car park afterwards uh, people came out of prayer, uh, shook hands and embraced, standing next to me, uh, and then looked awfully guilty, I have to say. Um, but this is a message we need everyone to take very, very seriously. Um, we have to protect the most vulnerable in our community. Thank you to Dr Varney for those key messages. We hope you found them useful. We know this is a testing time for everyone. We pray that Allah gives us all sabr. We're going to have to make some very difficult decisions over the next few days. We pray that Allah Jalla wa Allah protects us and our families. Jazakallah for listening. Please follow us online on GLM TV. Assalamu alaikum.